Hello, praise the Lord. Welcome to the transformative world of daily dose of God's word with Pastor Cherry Sean. Get ready to embark on a journey where the power of God's word meets your life challenges. In this podcast, Pastor Cherry will delve into a profound teaching of faith, motivation, and practical application of biblical wisdom. Be inspired as you listen. Hey, praise the Lord. Shalom family. I welcome you one more time to Daily Dose of God's Word this morning. Day before yesterday, I spoke on a podcast with the title, Keep Your Peace. You know, I would want to speak on the same lines this morning by pointing you out to the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6. It says, So humble yourself under the mighty power of God. And at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. I would want you to learn on how you have to handle criticism that comes your way. One of my personal advice or a rule that I have placed over my life, which I think would be a help to you this morning is that, you know, you need to understand what criticism is, what correction is. Most of us misunderstand correction for criticism and criticism for correction. And we end up not taking any advices and that will cut short our growth and that will cut short our progress you know it's very important to have people in life who will advise us who will guide us who will correct us and who will also mentor us but in the process you should understand to keep these things that I say in mind one of the rules that I have for myself is if I am taking the advice of people then I also should be willing to take the criticism you know there are some mentors and leaders that are over my life whose advices I regard and take seriously as much as I take their criticism too. Sometimes correction comes in a package called criticism and most of the time, you know, since we don't want to be criticized, we don't end up taking that correction. You know, there are people who are successful, effective, wise and godly. You know, they usually will not attack publicly when attempting to point out a flaw and this could be your mentor this could be your leader or this could be your pastor you know you need to have people like that you know who would not prove their point out publicly but instead can you know take you aside and point out your flaws point out the areas that you can correct yourself you know instead they reach out privately to you I would want you to keep this thing also in your mind as you take advices. You know, considering the source is important because the enemy can send people on assignment to distract, destroy and defame you. You know, be careful to discern and consider the source of criticism. You know, when I'm talking about criticism, criticism is basically correction you know it could be a constructive criticism you know which will help you grow you know this could come in different ways and in different forms through different people be careful to discern and consider the source of criticism that comes against you and do not blindly you know take it from every single person who comes and corrects you privately you know another thing that i would add this morning is to never argue with somebody who has already decided you are wrong you know some people have already made up their minds about you and nothing you do will ever change their mind you know learn to value your time and not go down in rabbit holes lastly this morning i would want you to understand if you don't want criticism don't let compliments inflate you you know i remember someone once said uh, things behind my back you know things about my family and these comments were brought to my attention and had affected me so much that i couldn't sleep you know but then the following sunday when i went and i preached i asked the lord before i could preach you know that he would take those feelings that feelings of bitterness rejection to take away and i felt the lord challenge me and say you preached a really good sermon but at the end of the day the praises that came from people inflated you thinking that you are better than you actually are this year i would want you to understand when people attack you you start feeling worse than you actually are this is what the lord said you're not as good as the compliments that come your way and you are not as bad as the criticism that comes your way you are somewhere in the middle you know this is what we all are you know we are somewhere in the middle let us not take 
praises and compliments so seriously and let us also not take criticism also so seriously you know let us have people let us have sources let us have channels in our lives you know where these channels would you know point us out to correction point us out the criticism a constructive kind of a criticism for our better we have to stop swinging to the other extremes when we get complimented or criticized god wants our hearts to stay pure in our service to him you know our identities should be only rooted in what he says about us you know not on what people say about us criticism is a part of life my dear friends you know don't let that spoil your journey don't let that spoil your mind as we read the scripture this morning let us stay under the mighty power of god and humble ourselves you know at the right time the lord will lift us up in honor let us give our worries and our cares to god for he cares about us you know shall we pray before we close father in the name of jesus we come before the throne of your grace lord i want you and we want your will and your ways to be our focus lord we humble ourselves you know and we also ask you to humble us and to remind us often that it is your grace and your mercy that has brought us in life this far lord may we never forget that you know we serve the living god who is worthy of all honor and glory may we recognize the voices discern the voices and also help ourselves to be corrected so that we could go too far in life accomplishing the things that you have in store for us lord we thank you we give you glory and honor in jesus name lord we pray amen god bless you have a beautiful sunday and a powerful week As we conclude another empowering episode of Daily Dose of God's Word with Pastor Cherry Sean, remember that your journey towards a transformed life has just begun. To know more about us, check out our social media handles. Thank you.